So Ghostbusters, this the twenty this twenty sixteen reboot is the first Ghostbusters movie that I saw, like period, like in general, like out of everything. Like I saw this movie first before I saw the first and second Ghostbusters, because like back then, back in twenty sixteen, for and for very long time until like recently. I wasn't a huge fan of the Ghostbusters franchise. I'm aware, obviously, I, I'm aware of them. Um, I know one of the actors uh, sadly passed. One or two actors sadly passed away, and then I found out. Oh, it was um, it was actually just one, Harold uh, uh, Harold Ramis or Ramis, um, and that's all I knew. Like that's all I knew. But I didn't know like anything about the Ghostbusters, so I went into this movie completely blind, knowing that it was going to be like an all-female Ghostbusters, uh, Christian Wiig, uh, Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCarthy, uh, Leslie Jones, and ever since the casting and the decision was announced, it got like a shit ton. I remember this, like it got a shit ton of negative feedback and we I think maybe some review review bombings but yeah fan backlash and criticisms but I was like okay I'll put that aside I'll put that aside I'll just go into this movie completely blind not knowing just wanting to have a very just just entertain me movie do your job please do your job and entertain me and boy did this movie suck it was it's complete garbage i it was it was well, not a well garbage is a too strong of a word of a word i would say it's really really bad it, this is a very very bad movie oh my god poorly directed uh, that the acting was just really annoying and not it was trying to be funny you know it was trying to be like really like lighthearted you know not lighthearted but it was trying to be like a little bit like funny kind of like i don't know some recent like some you know i don't know like something like the mcu jokes like not like not like phase one mcu i'm talking about like phase four mcu like phase phase four well, well this movie came out in 2016 so maybe phase three uh phase three which would be like civil war dr strange level of mcu humor it just did not work the jokes did not make me laugh. Well, I will admit a few of them did make me chuckle uh, a bit. Um, I thought Melissa, Mc uh, excuse me, I thought um, Kate McKinnon, out of all four actresses, Kate McKinnon, her character was the only like character I really like it, she was the less obnoxious the less annoying out of all four of these ladies um and her character played a very big role uh was a very key role uh, you know very key to this group because she's like you know the engineer the technician she's like building all these gadgets and gears for these for these new ghostbusters to use and it was it, it was nice but also, uh, I kind of didn't. W it was nice seeing the original uh, actors from the. Um, now that I'm all caught up, it was nice seeing all the original actors from you know the previous two movies come back in like surprise cameos here and there. Uh, even though I wish they weren't. Even though I wish the movie itself. Even though the I wish they were in a better movie because this is not a good movie and chris hemsworth i'm sorry like chris hemsworth is a gorgeous handsome human being all right and him playing this like this dumbass receptionist i just can't see it i just can't i just cannot see it it just doesn't work i love chris hemsworth but he should not be in this movie oh god the villain who's i don't even know the villain that weird white kid i oh god
I can't believe that, you know, the trailer did make, looked funny, and I just, I was like, uh, not, not really doing it. No wonder they scrapped sequels. I'm so glad they just, the, they just skipped over this and just went with Afterlife and rebooted this whole franchise. I just, oh God, man. God. This is a really bad movie. Oh, God. Left a very sour taste in my mouth.